it opens up looking like this but I can enlarge it so you can see it even better there are some tool tips so there's these first four voices you can mix and match the way you want and you can layer the voices using the velocity in this case they're all set to go off at pretty much the same time but if you want for one voice to kick in only when you hit the keys very hard then you can set these appropriately this first voice is set from 0 to 60 so you only get it on the lower keyboard from 0 to 60 in the MIDI notes and that's true also of the second voice the third voice is in the upper keyboard from 60 to 128 so in that case it's a keyboard split uh, these two voices are the upper part of the keyboard and these are the lower and as you t see you have some flexibility you could uh, configure the entire keyboard uh, with a mixture of these voices if you care to now to show you how they're mixed I'm going to lower, I've got some presets in this data directory and I like this shearing voice I'll show you how that sounds as well I tried to simulate a big band using this setting and here you can see the velocity is such that the brass will kick in only when you hit a little harder so This is a uh, simulation of the Art Van Damme group. Art Van Damme was an accordionist, so you can see that here. It's pretty much the entire keyboard being used for all these four voices. I'm going to close this up a little bit. And now, watch what happens. that are played and also the notes that have been played on the keyboard. The MIDI note is the number interpreted to an alphabetic equivalent and you can see pretty much everything that's played there. Next thing is you can turn on the bass and drums so as it will follow the chords that you play. It's kind of a little like a metronome perhaps but I think more fun. It will continue with this C chord until I do something else, which I will.
Okay. When you open the sequencer, you can see what you played here because it's entered what you played into the lead sheet. You may have to edit it a little bit, and you can. If you want to clear it out, you just say no. Or you can load up a prepared lead sheet if you care to, like this. And we'll try that. Okay, that's it.